It's his morning crew on his radio with Rob and Liz. And oh, I'm Brian in for Rob. And I'm so excited because today is the day. It might not look pretty, but it tastes great. It's Liz's Ugly Bakery. And my goodness, I should take my hat off and salute it. It's American today. <laughs> it, it is. the. And honestly, I took some shortcuts because we're all so busy. Mm-hmm. And, even you know, over the weekend, if I were to do this recipe, I might actually take a little more time. But, yes, you are saluting and waving my I'm cupcake. I'm the Statue of Liberty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's cupcakes. And, and I made pineapple cupcakes with some of them have pineapple curd in the middle. Boy, what is that? Curd is like... It, it's close to, it's hard to describe, but it's close to the texture of like a jam. Jammed raspberry. And some of the cupcakes that I made have lemon. Now, the pineapple is homemade. The lemon was store-bought. Okay. Um, but yeah, pineapple cake with a pineapple curd. Delish. And then cream cheese frosting. Mm-hmm. And I piped all kinds of different colors, red, white, and blue on top. Is that like glitter? There's always glitter, Brian. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I have red disco glitter is what it's called. And so, yeah, just a little, you know, a little okay. glitter on there to make it fun and some sprinkles. All right, so what's the verdict? All right. What do you got? What do you think, Jake? I loved it. They brought it to me before we even, like, went on air, and I, like, sculpted it down. He killed Scarfed it. Scarfed it, not sculpted. I'm not an artist. No, you didn't oh. sculpt it. <laughs> but he killed that cupcake within, like, 30 seconds. It I was, did. I got no shame. It was amazing. It was like a, uh, yeah, it was, like, gone. Yeah, it was just like, instantaneous. Yeah. All right, Ninja. It's good. If my eyes are closed. Why'd I don't you, even understand why? what that means. It's like, I should have grabbed the one with the with the base of the white icing, because I have a thing with colors. It's like, I look at the blue, and I'm like, mm, but, I mean. But it's the same icing, it's just colored. It just has food coloring. Said. But, like, I look at my fork, and it's, and, like, all the colors are mixing together, and I'm like this... It makes me kind of gag a little bit, but Ninja. wait a minute, Liz's Ugly Bakery just made you gag a little bit. Oh, not, not like the bakery man. part; it's just the colors of the icing <sighs> mixing together. So it's- two things: you're eating your cupcake with a fork, yes, and you don't like any colored food. Well, I, I, the red and the white doesn't bother me. It's the blue. For some reason, so no blueberries for you. I well, no. You I are usually so weird. stay That's away seeds. from <laughs> colors that will change my tongue colors. <laughs> I had she to used to be your favorite, didn't she? You know, I, thought, but I do like the fact I can eat glitter and not get yelled at. There you go. <laughs> so different from preschool, Brian. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> mm. but it's good. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I need to take a bite. Brian's taking a bite now. Mmm. Is it good? It's rich, but it's good. It is so rich because of the cream cheese, and then but the the lemon curd will kind of offset that a little bit because it's really tart. I'm like, what's that character? Oh, Ooh, be careful! It. Sorry. That care for, character from like Donald Duck, the uh, rich guy, the banker. Oh, uh, Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge, Scrooge, yeah, it's it's that rich. I mean, it's. Uh, oh, what is that good? That's good. That's good. Uh huh. Okay, um, so that's Liz's Ugly Bakery. Okay. Yeah, pineapple cupcakes, pineapple curd happy fourth of july it may not look pretty but it tastes great even if ninja's weird (laughs) rob and liz his morning crew i I started seeing pop up on my feed oh there's another one there's another one i'm like what in the world are you talking about we're talking like seven earthquakes just yesterday Uh, and and they're centered kind of in the uh, columbia area outside Mm -hmm. of columbia i think elgin is the the area Uh, but even people as far away as like over in augusta georgia and stuff were feeling those earthquakes and since the start of the year there's been over 30 earthquakes kind of in the same area there's one this past weekend up outside of Hendersonville, North mm-hmm, Carolina. Mm-hmm. So it's like all this area, man, it's just like, right. you know, there's been over 30 earthquakes in South Carolina yeah. just this year. Wow. I saw somebody on my feed posted something like, whatever's under the ground is, <laughs> is really wanting out. <laughs> yeah. And they were talking about the the ones yesterday, a couple of them yesterday were the strongest earthquakes in South Carolina since 2014. Wow. And now they weren't huge, right? I mean, what were they like in the 3.6? I think 3.6 was the uh, biggest one. So I I would like to because I've never really been in an earthquake. I mean, I've. You want to be in an earthquake? No, no, no. I would. That was not it. (laughs) I would like to know what that's 
comparable to. Oh, okay. Like, is it being on a bumpy bus, you know, on some of the roads? Uh, you know, what is it like? Is it going up a roller coaster, that kind of thing that you feel? Oh, okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe somebody's been in an earthquake and they could share that experience. So. Yeah, or, or you know, another, I, I was, I've never been, in, like I said, a big earthquake or anything like that, yeah. but a tornado. Oh, yes. I had a tornado, I, I, I say, I had a tornado follow me to work one time, but there was one, uh, you know, a couple miles behind me on the way to work one day, mm. and I just remember an intersection that I was in, and I took a right, and later, I saw a police officer behind me, yeah. and later on the news i saw that police officer or a police officer that said the tornado had flipped his car and i mean this was years and years ago so of course in my mind it was the police officer i saw yeah was it i don't know but and you had the dress on and the doggy i clicked my uh, heels three times nothing happened rob and liz his morning crew a little shaking, a little rattling, a little rolling was happening around the Carolinas and Georgia yesterday, especially, but over the last uh, couple of weeks or so. It's his morning crew with Rob and Liz, his radio. Oh, t- we I wonder what it felt like uh, to, to be in an earthquake. Tammy, can you help us out? Okay, I'm from California, so it really depends on the type of earthquake that it is, because either you have you have two basic types. You have a rolling one that that you can literally see the ground rolling like hills, or you have the jarring kind that that that's like a hard shake. And did you ever find when you lived in California that you got used to that kind of thing? Yes. So the three point five, those are nothing. Those are like like the bed, like somebody jumped on your bed. To us. Um, when I left California. Literally the morning that it happened, we had a 6.9, I believe it was, um, that the epicenter was like 10 miles out from us. That's the biggest, that was a nightmare. I mean, that was worse than the big one in eight, in the 80s in San Francisco that collapsed all the bridges to me because I was near the closest to the epicenter. Wow. And you were just done epi- at that point. I, I did not like, I used to love earthquakes before then. And then I like, yeah, no, now they don't bother me again. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. So imagine this, 27 years of work, never missing a shift. You're going to retire, and you get a goodie bag from your company. It's the His Morning Crew on His Radio with Rob and Liz. Yeah, and you think, okay, they gave me a goodie bag, you know, a little little parting gift, and I wonder what's going to be in here. Um, so this happened to Kevin. Mm-hmm. Kevin had worked for a fast food restaurant for about 27 years, never yeah. called in sick, yeah. never took a day, yeah. and they they gave him this goodie bag, and it, it just did not fit how 20, he 27 valued. 27 years yeah. of, and never missing, not only that, was never missing a shit. He was perfect. Yes. Perfect attendance. Yes. And did the job. I mean, did a good job. The goodie bag did not fit his departure. Okay, let me tell you. Movie ticket, mm-hmm. a bag of Reese's couple packs of lifesavers, a lanyard, a, lanyard. A, a couple of pins, a keychain, and a uh, Starbucks cup. But let me tell you, it was posted on social, mm-hmm. and he was thankful and he was grateful. Yeah, he was. Like, he, he thought, wow, this is great. You know, they're sending me away with a parting gift. His grandkids and his family maybe thought he deserved more. Yeah. And so they put together a GoFundMe, and they're like, you know. They want him to be able to visit his grandkids. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. And so he's got quite a few. Mm-hmm. And so this GoFundMe just grew. And then it grew some more. And then it really grew. Over $200,000. So not only is he going to visit his grandkids, he's also going to help put them through college. Mm. Something that all those years working was not going to be able to do. Yeah. But others who didn't even know Kevin mm-hmm. saw his worth. I mean, I love that how we... Just we see somebody and they do good things and maybe not rewarded Mm -hmm. how they should be. Mm -hmm. And I love how we can just get in. And we I love how I love when we we don't always do this, but I love when we cheer others on. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. I've always felt this was true. I've always said this. If you feel and act younger, 
um, you know, you're actually going to portray that you are younger. Okay. And now there's research to back it up. Get out of here, really? Yeah, and they're actually saying that it can help you, like, in a rehabilitation process. Okay. It can help you with some medical conditions that you might have if you kind of project it, you know, and, and have fun and, and act like a kid. So, you know, maybe some things that you can do to, to feel younger. What would be something? For me, I have a coloring book. I do. I have a, really? an, it's an adult coloring book, but I don't care if it was frozen. I love to color. And if I get completely stressed mm. out, okay, that is such a way. And, and it, I think in a couple of ways it's de-stressing because you're not thinking about anything except staying inside the lines. Okay. But it also just takes you back to that childhood memory of doing it. Okay. Me, probably I would love to get out in and uh, play a little wiffle ball. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh, I think we should have a wiffle ball game. Ah, that like. would be so, fun. Wouldn't it be fun? Yeah. So is that something that you do? You look for opportunities? No, I haven't done it in you years. You haven't done but, it in uh, years? But, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think. I don't really do anything to, to. Make yourself feel younger? I try to, you know, I throw a little. You know, cray cray. No, I don't do that. So not, <laughs> you use the younger language. I got you. <laughs> and they just like, look at that strange old man doing that. So. <laughs> yeah, so. so I will, and I haven't done it in a while, but I, I do like to splash in puddles, not mud puddles, but rain puddles. Okay. Because I used to take, especially my daughter and my boys when they were little, and if it would rain, and just run out and just splash. I mean, that is so much fun. Who cares if you get wet? Who cares if you get dirty? You can dry off and you can clean up. Okay. And it honestly, it lifts your spirit a little bit and just makes you feel like a kid again. You're one of those puddle jumpers. No, I jump in it. I know. That's how I'm yeah. jumping into it. Okay. <laughs> what is, maybe there's something you do that makes you feel younger, keeps you young. Call or text us 800-447-7234. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Ways to stay and feel mm. younger. There's actually health benefits to it. I love uh, to jump into puddles, not mud puddles, okay. but rain puddles. So that's one of the things that I will do. Jake, video producer, uh, you're sharing what now? What do you do? Because you're how old are you? I'm 24. Okay, 24, but you still do something that makes you feel like a little kid again. Yes, so well, I do like multiple things, but um, the main thing I do is no matter where, what store it is, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, no matter, I have to go down the toy aisle. I love that. I have to, especially so, like the Legos. Do Got you, to. Do you still call your mom and say, can I have this? No, baby, I'm 24. <laughs> I go and buy it. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, Barbara. Barbara, I love you. She texted and said, bubbles. Bubbles. I blow bubbles. I keep a bottle of bubbles in my Jeep to blow when I'm stuck in traffic. That's you, Barbara. I noticed. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was love it. For you. Wendy, what do you do? I like to skip. And where do you skip? Tell me, just set up the situation for me. Well, wherever I am, sometimes I just feel like skipping. So I'll skip at the grocery store. I'll skip if I'm at, you know, walking down the street. And if my daughter's with me, she's like, would you please stop it? <laughs> but doesn't that just make you want to do it more? <laughs> it does, because then I keep doing it. <laughs> That's right, because they embarrassed you. Now you can embarrass them. <laughs> That's right. It's fair. <laughs> Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Things you do to stay younger. Yeah, because it's not just, you know, in the moment, but they're saying that researchers uh, kind of confirmed that it helps you physically and mentally in the mm -hmm. long run. So this is cool because I've been doing this, trying to remember to do this uh, for years. Jana texted in and said, jump on a trampoline. Oh. I can't help or it can't help that it makes you laugh and feel like a kid again. Now, Kristen does something from when she was a little kid, and it brings back those memories. She said, I go crabbing at, like, these little creeks oh, with a hand line. Okay. And it's, you know, maybe a, a slower process, but it still takes her back to her childhood. Ninja, you do something uh, that makes you feel like a little kid. And you are 25? I'm 25. Yeah. But and this takes you back to being a little girl. Yes, I like to get coloring pages at restaurants. So you mm -hmm. ask for, like, the kids' meal paper. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, there's some restaurants where they just give you the white <laughs> oh, paper tablecloth. That's the best one. That is the best one. <laughs> oh, my 
gosh. Do you don't do that? What's happened here? No, I don't do that. I don't color. You should. Just try it. It's liberating. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe Michael, what, you did this with your stepson. What was it? I disappeared in Walmart, grabbed some of the uh, toys, and me and him wound up having a sword fight in Walmart. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Go to your room and don't leave till you clean your bedrooms. Uh, it could take a while. Uh, there's a house in West Virginia that has 61 bedrooms. 61. 61 bedrooms. What okay. kind of family needs that? Well, I, well, see, I'm from West Virginia. I'm like, where in the world is this? And so I looked. It was in, it's in Wellsburg, which is the furthest point from where I live. Oh, okay, I live. It's on like, the opposite side. Yeah, it's like the uh, northern part of the state. Uh, so it was built for this uh, Captain J.J. Vandergrift. He was a like a boat captain, and then he got into the oil business back in oh. the, Yeah, so it, this was his summer estate. So we're talking <laughs> uh, 73 rooms in the main mansion, 39 bedrooms, commercial kitchen, billiards room, a library, and a chapel. Then there's another home on the property with... 22 bedrooms. That's the mother-in-law suite. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> a total of 61 bedrooms, 64 bathrooms. That is surprising to me because most of these really big homes, mm -hmm. they will have multiple, like many, many more bathrooms than they do bedrooms. I can't figure that out. Because you don't want two women in the same bathroom. Oh. Uh... Like, that's my stuff. Move your stuff. Move. So... At least that that is my rationale yeah, for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, not like that. All right. <laughs> Asking price $3.8 million. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Hey, bigger than Mattel, bigger than Hasbro. Bigger than Mattel, bigger than Hasbro. You're thinking. I know. I'm thinking of all the toys. The world's largest toy distributor is? Mattel. Nope. No, it's bigger than it's that. It's bigger you than Mattel and Hasbro combined. Come on, McThink. <gasps> McThink. No. McDonald's. McDonald's because of the Happy Mills. Those Happy Mills oh that my are distributed. They distribute 1.5 billion B billion toys per year. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, there was a uh, there was a lady, I think, at a McDonald's franchise in Guatemala that came up with an idea for you know it, putting a toy into a meal. Then it got to Chicago where the you know McDonald's corporation is, and so Bob Bernstein, I think, is his name. He's the one that came up with the Happy Meal concept back in the seventies. Been around about forty three or so years now. So in all that time, yes, that's where the one and a half billion, and that's a natural progression. Guatemala, yeah. no, to no, no, Chicago. no, that's each year. 1.5 billion toys are distributed. Oh my each goodness! Year. Okay, so I'm just gonna be real. <laughs> I have one in my pocketbook. No. I have a toy because. What do you have? Because I'm fairly. I hate the word cheap, but I'm cheap. I'm frugal, and so when I go get lunch, if I go through a fast food, mm -hmm. I will get a Happy Meal because. For me, it's just economical. You pulled that out of a, that. Is that a purse or a suitcase? <laughs> you would be surprised what is in this uh, thing. Can, can I can I lift it just to see? Oh, Brian, this is going to be hilarious. Be careful because it is heavy. Oh, <laughs> it really is heavy. <laughs> pulled a muscle there. All right, well, oh, I mean, you know, I got to keep my Happy Meal toy somewhere. All right, so what is that toy? This is a Stormtrooper. I'll just, should I go ahead and open it? Yeah, please. Okay, it's a Stormtrooper something or another. Storm. I don't know. Okay, it does something because there's a button on the back. Okay. But I don't know what it does. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, like his little body came out. Oh, sorry. His little body came out. I don't know how old this is, but I do have multiple uh, little Happy Meal toys in my car. Ah, oh, man. I know. <laughs> we know what your grandbaby's getting for Christmas. I play with this. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. So we are going to be out this weekend, this mm -hmm. Saturday, uh, really kicking off that 4th of July thing. But we're doing it with our summer road trip because we are giving away an SUV. It's oh, 2022 man. Mitsubishi Outlander. And uh, this is where you're going to have an opportunity with Harlan and the Fun Patrol Saturday afternoon, 12 to 3, mm -hmm. uh, to get 15 bonus entries to help you in winning 
the car. That's right. And, of course, that's in Easley, South Carolina, their historic 4th of July celebration. On the road, other places next weekend, Merle's Inlet, yep, Grand Strand. Beach, yep. headed to Lexington, headed to Matthews, Cary, Raleigh, Fayetteville. Mm-hmm. We're on the road with the, uh, the Fun Patrol. Check it out at hisradio.com. And just wondering, if you won the vehicle, have you thought about this? Oh, what? yeah. I can't win. Yeah. But what would I do? Uh. Well, you know, my daughter has one, uh, we have one grandbaby and there's twins on the way, so mm-hmm. we need the room. So, yeah, yeah that would be if I could. Uh, if you could win it. Okay, Jim, what would you do if you won, buddy? To be honest with you, I would probably give it away because two years ago, a good friend of mine bought me a work truck and he said God led him to help me. So I would probably pay it forward. Oh, I can hear that in your heart what that meant to you. Mm. That was a friend right there that knew you were in need and stepped up to help. Oh, yep. Wow. Jim just touching my heart this morning. But, you know, you can. Jim is going to do the same thing. He's going to go online, hisradio.com, um, and enter to win right there. You can also text the word CAR to 800-447-7234. Enter that way or on the My His Radio app. And also be make sure you get your notifications on with the My His Radio app because every now and then we're going to open up 15-minute windows where you can get your 15 right there through the My His Radio app.